Hey everybody, Will from Studio Zombie 3D here with another video. Today we're going to take a quick look on how to set up Octolapse on the Anycubic Viper. Before we get started, I just want to give a quick shout out to my good friend Jord, who was awesome and donated a new mic for the studio. We really appreciate it, man. It sounds better already. Alright, let's get to the video. Alright, first thing we're going to do is going to go into the Octoprint settings and into the plugin manager. Click on Get More and search for Octolapse if you don't have it installed. Once you're done here, click Close, and we're going to go into the Octolapse tab on the main screen. Alright, first thing we're going to do is add a printer profile. Click on the plus icon, and the profile page will come up. First thing we're going to do is change the name to Viper. And then in the description, put any cubic Viper or whatever description you'd like. Next, we have the slicer section. I use Cure 4.10, so select Cure 4.2 and above. Next, set your layer height. Mine is 0.28 millimeters right now. I recommend making a profile for each layer height that you like to use. Next, if you're using base mode or spiralize outer contour, make sure this box is checked. Next, go down to the extruder and click Enabled. Set your options for your retraction and your speeds. Mine are 8mm, 40mm, 45, 120, 5mm on my Z-Hop. Then I click Z-Hop when retracted and enable. Set it at 0 0.3. If you would like to use automatic configuration, you will need to make some changes to your start G-code and cure. Go into Preferences and then down into machine settings. I will have the start G code in the description. All you have to do is copy and paste it into the box and you're ready to go. Once you're done, click close and you're ready to go. If you use Persis Slicer, it's a bit easier. All you have to do is make sure in print settings that Verbro's G code is checked off and you're ready to go. Now below the slicer settings. I click Override Octoprint, use rectangular bed size, and then for the volume I put 250, 255, and 265 respectively, in origin of front right. The rest you can leave as is. Hit save and now we can select our stabilization options. Under stabilization, I personally use back right for most of my videos, but I suggest you try out the different options and see what works best for you to based on where you have your camera set up. Lower angles in this orbit stabilization work really well with the Viper and the light on the hot end. Next, the trigger. I use smart, high quality, and classic every layer, but like stabilization, play around to see it works best. Finally, the rendering. I use MP460. Now you're ready for a test run. Print any object and see how your video turns out. Here's a couple samples off of my setup right now. Alright, that was just a quick setup video for Octolapse on the Anycubic Viper. Drop me a comment below, let me know how your setup works out for you. Let me know what you'd like covered in future videos. And as always, subscribe, hit that like button, and check out the Studio Zombie 3D Instagram for more going on around the studio. Take care everybody, and we'll see you in the next video.